But it's really important to say, as if I have to say this, by the way, that any form of extremism, whether it's Islamist or far right or anything else, is completely deplorable and wrong. And I'm not for a second trying to excuse anyone who's going down the far right stuff, especially considering that MI5 are warning they're all trying to, well, not all, but a lot of them are trying to weaponize now, which has got pretty grim potential consequences to it. But I cannot help but feel, Jack, that if people sorted out what was going on in the channel, if people didn't see maybe as rapid demographic change, if people maybe felt as though the government was doing a bit more to protect them, then it would, it would nullify a lot of far-right rhetoric. Is that fair? Yes, because the topics that the far-right groups and far-right influencers, uh, influencers prey on and weaponize are things that a vast majority of Brits actually agree on. Poll after poll after poll, people say they want immigration to be put under control. Most people aren't woke address these issues. But it's not just that. It's not just what the government can do. It's our dialogue and the way that we treat each other in real life. This Glad you've said deep this. partisan that we have, it, it drives people to extremism. But Jack, it's Jack, not helpful. let me just get you on that because I think that's a really important point that you've made there because I, I am sick and tired of the word far right just being lobbed out there. Now, apparently anyone who wants to look after their own borders pretty much is a far right extremist. Anyone who has got any views. I mean, bear in mind, some people, some people genuinely think, oh, if you just vote conservative in this country, then you're a member of the far right. That diminishes from, you know, you would argue like your proper neo-Nazi heavy duty far right lot that want to arm themselves. There's, there's, a, there's a world of difference between that. Do you think that sometimes the word far right, words far right, Right, are just used to silence people who, frankly, don't have a big liberal woke agenda. Absolutely. And that's a big part of the problem, because, first of all, when you do that, you make it difficult to differentiate and to understand who is a threat and who isn't. But I think it's also worth mentioning while I'm here that the best thing that we can do for these young people who get wrapped up in this politics is not just a, an approach to solve these problems from the government. It's the way that we talk to each other. Just here in New York, where I, I live currently, um, uh, the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, throughout her campaign, repeatedly referred to her yeah. opposition as far right yeah. and even told Republicans that they don't belong in New York. That deep partisanship is making things much, much worse.